Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to catch the use of an assignment operator instead of equality operator. So assignment is equal to single quote, equality is needs to be double quote, and here is probably the error. Anyways, branching programs, um, example, ones to do different things in certain conditions are met, rely on if, else, if, and else statements in JavaScript. The condition sometimes takes the form of testing whether a result is equal to a value. The logic is spoken in English, in English at least, as if x equals y then which can literally translate into code using the equals or assignment operator this leads to unexpected control flow in your program as covered in the previous challenge the assignment operator which is the equal sign in javascript assigns a value to a variable name the double equals and triple equal operators check for equality the triple equals tests for strict strict equality meaning both values um, and the types are the same uh, the code below assigns x to the to be 2, which evaluates as true. Almost every value on its own in JavaScript evaluates to true, except what are known as false e values. False, 0, and an empty string. NAN, undefined, and null also are considered false e values. So x is equal to 1, y is equal to 2. If x, this is an error. This needs to be equal, equal, or triple equal. So if uh, 1 is equal to 2, <clears throat> uh, um, oh yeah, so this would actually render this code block will run for any value of y unless y were originally set to falsy. So if y was an empty string, this code block would not run, and then this code block would run. So we want to fi fix the condition so that the program runs the right branch and the appropriate value is assigned to result. So result is equal to two come. Hmm not equal. So while well, 7 and 9 are both variables set, x and y are, are variables set to 7 and 9, and then we have a result equal to the string that says to come. If x is equal to y, but what we want to do is make it equal to y, or triple equal, uh, we say that they're the same, but they're not, so our um, result is equal to not equal. What happens when it was like that? It was set to equal, okay, because y is truthy. So we're saying if x is equal to y, what the conditional does, because it's incorrectly set up here, it just runs whether or not y is truthy. If y were, instead of 8, let's say it were um, an empty string, it would become not equal because y is a falsy value. Um, yeah, I hope that makes sense. We're going to get more into this as it goes. Uh, but yeah, this should pass the tests. Oh, it didn't work. Should either use, oh, I didn't uh, adjust it. Run the tests, and we see they pass. Okay, great. Hope you guys enjoyed this one, and we'll see you in the next lesson.